Stop for a second and try to pronounce Lil Uzi Vert three times in quick succession. Yeah. All right, let me try. Lil Uzi Vert, Lil Uzi Vert, Lil Uzi Vert, Lil Uzi Vert. I sold my soul to the devil. I know it's a crappy deal. Lisa came with a few toys like a Happy Meal. What's good, Dark Knight Gang? I'm Neptune. Look, bro, today I got a reaction for y'all. I'm about to react to a video titled Satanic Rituals Rappers Don't Want You to See. This should be a fire video. This is gonna be very interesting. Now, I will have to say this regarding this video, this satanic video. For sure, rappers, uh, people in Hollywood, period, they definitely be doing satanic rituals and having satanic imagery. Oh, for sure, cuz y'all know me. I've been studying the dark side. I've been part of the dark side. I've been doing dark rituals, all type of shit. So now that I have knowledge of it, yeah, a lot of these rappers definitely, definitely have the satanic imagery. But I'm going to say this, though. It's not what you think it is, bro. It's not. In order for you to really know, you have to dive in deep. You feel me? I can't I can't give you the answers. You got to dive in yourself and see what it's about. Anyway, I'm ready to hop into this video. Shout out to the gang. You can tell I'm in the clouds. I'm about to finish smoking a little bit right now as we watch this video. You feel me? Let's watch this video together. Satanic rituals rappers don't want you to see. Shout out to the gang. Everybody have a good day. Have a great day. Let's watch this. Yeah, let's go. These days, rap and Satan are having a moment. Satanic rappers, also known as occult rappers, are a subgenre of hip hop that incorporates themes of Satanism and the occult into their lyrics and imagery. Some say it's just an act, a shtick, while others say the deal has been struck between the artist and the devil, exchanging their precious soul for fame. Many contemporary rappers have incited controversy referencing satanic images in their music and aesthetic, and these are the top 10. Lil Uzi Vert, Samir Wood. Oh, for sure, Lil Uzi got hella imagery you already know it's professionally known as Lil Uzi Vert has always been explicit in his use of satanic imagery following in the footsteps of rock provocateur Marilyn Manson using satanic imagery lyrics and merchandise have been used to incite controversy while performing at the 2018 wireless Great. concert the Philadelphian rapper stopped the EXO tour life instrumental to share a message with the fans before everybody starts screaming and saying oh like I told y'all earlier you motherfuckers enter the rapture and if ain't nobody flying up to heaven right now obviously all y'all motherfuckers going to hell right with me he also added <laughs> let's get it oh you already here i'm so sorry you can't get out you're stuck it's over you heard the song a million times and you didn't even know that's up but i still love you the rapper <laughs> this nigga little uzi crazy <laughs> i do remember when he said that to everybody but yeah that nigga crazy he said look Look, all y'all in hell with me. Also released the track we titled 444 plus 222, which equals the biblical number of the B666. He's known for like posting that. photos of upside down crosses on his Instagram page, which has led to some of his colleagues calling him out, most notably Offset. Offset posted an Instagram clip saying, All y'all doing upside down cross, even my little partners, man. <laughs> Stop the <laughs> while you look lame. All that worship the devil. He was God, man. Lil Uzi responded by posting a picture on Instagram of a smiley face and an upside down cross and the number 666 tagging Uzi. Offset. The Migos rapper replied to the post, writing, I will pray for you, my brother. Lil Nas X. Yeah, <laughs> that nigga is funny for that. But nah, I mean, that just goes to show everybody think when you make it in the industry, you have to become like satanic. No, you don't. Every, look, bro, I'm gonna put you up on game. Just like in college, you have like different fraternities, different brotherhoods. You have different fraternities and sororities. In almost every single industry, there's different fraternities. You know what I mean? So just think about that. Lil Nas X, whose real name is Montero Lamar Hill, is a popular rapper and singer who is no stranger to the spotlight and tabloids concerning his provocative artistic yeah, persona and social media presence. Lil After Nas gaining X. initial fame... 
Lil Nas X is actually a, a decent artist though. He makes some good songs. With the hit song, Old Town Road, he's gone on to release other songs which indicate the Georgian rapper's apparent interest in Satanists. He released a music video for his song, Montero, Call Me By Your Name, that yeah, features him crazy. descending into hell while pole dancing and giving the devil yeah, a lap dance. This generated crazy. a huge amount of controversy which Lil Nas X ultimately reveled in. He also posted pictures on social media that show him wearing a pentagram necklace and standing in front of a statue of Baphomet, a figure associated associated with Satanism. Mm. Shortly after the video's release, New York-based art man. collective Mischief collaborated with Lil Nas X to make 666 pairs of unofficial Nike Air Max 97. The shoes, which cost $1,018 each, a reference to the Bible verse Luke 10:18, are Satan-themed and allegedly feature a drop of human blood. <laughs> Playboy nigga. Cardi. Hey, you already know I mess with Cardi heavy. Lil Nas X is crazy. I feel like he did what he did to show everybody he don't give up. What y'all talking about? That's what being, you know what I'm saying? That's what being on the dark side is. You a rebel saying, you know what? I don't give a Y'all mad at me for being gay? Y'all say I'm satanic? I'm going to get that nigga a lap dance. <laughs> that nigga is crazy for that. He give my respect, though. That took some balls, cuz. Jordan Terrell Carter, professionally known as Playboy Cardi, is an American Cardi rapper who has gone from having an underground cult following to becoming one of the mainstream mumble rappers. Playboy Cardi is no stranger to the satanic lifestyle. Yeah. His 2020 album, Whole Lot of Red, featured several Satanesque references, as well as vampiric imagery and more. The Atlanta rapper garnered this attention from hit singles like Magnolia and Woke Up Like This, as well as his debut album, Die Lit, in 2018. In anticipation for his second album, Whole Lot of Red, Playboy Cardi announced a collection of new merch, the bulk of which includes inverted crosses and pentagram <laughs> necklaces. The 16-piece merch collection featured 12 types of clothing options, along with four household items. The sweaters and shirts have upside-down crosses and statements like Black Leather Devil printed on them. Immediately after images of the merch went live on the internet, fans began talking about the clothes' satanic appearance. He recently caused a frenzy amongst his fans when he displayed a Satan tattoo on the back of his neck. The Atlanta oh, yeah, native shared a photo of his new ink on social media, which showed the word on his <laughs> neck atop. And the tattoo he got under it, is that the clip off, nigga? Yes. And it looks like it's going through. Ah, oh, this nigga. Ah, I see you, boy. Other eerie tattoos that have <laughs> already nigga. faded. Others oh, ridiculed crazy. Cardi's fans for making a big deal out All of the new right. tattoo when it was All obvious right. the rapper had been using satanic imagery All in his work since 2019. You. Tyler the... Hey, shout out my boy Playboy Cardi. That tattoo? But yeah, Playboy Cardi definitely be having, like, the imagery as well. It's crazy. I guess they don't really care. And that's part of it. You know what I'm saying? It's like, nigga, I don't give a fuck. This is who I am. What's up? You know what I mean? And it's, I like that. I like when artists can be that way and say, nigga, this is me. This is my art. I don't give a fuck what y'all talking about. Cause I love when niggas harness that energy. You feel me? Cause that's my energy. That, that been me like my whole life. I don't give a fuck, nigga. <laughs> All right, all right, my fault. You know, I'm a little faded. When I'm faded, boy, I like to feel. You feel me? I tap in. Energy, boy. So that energy, I just love that shit. I love that rebel. I don't give a f You feel me? Creator. Tyler the Creator is known for his controversial and often shocking lyrics, and his music often touches on satanic themes. He also includes satanic imagery in his music videos and oh, live performances. Oh yeah, I remember that. When Tyler and his alternative- Y'all remember when he ate the roach too in that music video? I was like, hey, this nigga crazy! Often touches on satanic themes. He also includes satanic imagery in his music videos and live performances. When Tyler and his alternative hip-hop group, Odd Future Collective, first appeared in the early 2010s, the group was labeled as a bunch of double worship and deviants. From having merchandise adorned uh, with 666 and inverted crosses to the lyrical content, the group's references to Satanism were a topic of discussion on numerous forums and hip-hop threads. Tyler's 2011 debut album, Goblin, is full of satanic references. On the album title track, Tyler is constantly alluding to how he's seen a devil worshiper. Oh, that's a triple three six? Isn't he a devil worshiper? Because I'm too fucking ignorant to do some research. Mm. After releasing his 2009 debut mixtape, Bastard, Tyler did a mm. See, y'all gonna skip over that. Niggas gonna skip over that. Isn't he a devil worshiper? Cause I'm too fucking ignorant to do some research. Facts. After releasing his 2009 debut mixtape, Bastard, Tyler did an interview where he talked about the satanic references as well as where it all came from. He said, my grandmother once told me I was from hell since I was so evil. I kind of took that and flipped it. Since I didn't have a father, I sort of went to this devil guy as a role model. XXXTentacion. 
The now deceased R. XXX Tentacion, or Jose Dwayne Ricardo Onfroy, was considered to be a pillar and a leading figure in the emo rap and SoundCloud rap genres, sure. which started taking off in the mid 2010s. Onfroy had a well documented interest in the occult right from a young age. He had a collection of occult books and even took part in rituals. On his double XL freshman cipher and his track, I Spoke to the Devil in Miami, he said everything would be fine. Onfroy mentioned selling his soul to Satan. In this track, X reminisces about his past wrongdoings, detailing a hypothetical conversation conversation with Satan about the state of his soul. Some standout lyrics from the track include, spoke to a Baphomet, said he would save me if I gave him one thing he needed. What is this thing I pleaded? Boy, it's the key to even. Yeah. Baphomet here refers to the enigmatic goat figure found in satanic imagery. This image has a lot of meaning to it. It's not even what people think. This image has so much fucking meaning to it, bro. Who wants one thing? X's soul. Trippy Red. Michael Lamar. Oh, I love this nigga Trippy, bro. Trippy is so fire. When Trippy Red sings, pff, top 10. Easy. Trippy Red is in my top 10. White the second, professionally known as Trippy Red, is an American rapper and singer who has been gaining popularity in recent years in the SoundCloud rap scene for his unique blend of rap and emo music. He's been known to incorporate elements of Satanism into his music, often referencing Satan and using imagery associated with Satanism, such as pentagrams and horns. In many cases, they are used as a way to shock and provoke, as well as incite controversy among his fans and haters alike. He was seen posting this image on his Snapchat, which includes a cult symbolism such as mm. <laughs> the dark brotherhood dark knight gang nah nah let me stop let me stop okay trippy is the all-seeing eye the head of baphomet a biblical number of the b666 as mm -hmm. well as the pentagram this is trippy red's arms tattooed with several inverted crosses above the inverted crosses is the tattoo saying demons at play in this picture his shirt says take me to hell tell me it's heaven as a woman hugs the devil the official music video for his hit song topanga features a very eerie atmosphere with numerous heads of the baphomet scene as well as a pentagram with candles all around it the if you've never heard topanga by trippy red go listen to it the song is so fire that song is a masterpiece bro i swear to you topanga is a masterpiece the ohio native was also seen flexing lil nas x's bloodstained satan shoes on his instagram with only 666 pairs in existence trippy red more. made sure to get his hands on a pair complimenting the diabolical more. theme seen in his music lil pump Gazzy Garcia, aka Lil Pump, is an American rapper and songwriter who has gained popularity for his energetic and boombastic style of rap music. He's one of the most prominent and controversial artists in the industry right now. His provocative antics have recently included incorporating satanic and occult themes into his aesthetic and music videos. In yeah, the music video that. for the hit track Illuminati by Lil Pump and Anul Double A, there are enough satanic references to make a priest whip out his holy water. The video starts <laughs> with Anul Double A laying in a coffin, then immediately comes back to life and starts rapping. This represents initiation the rituals in which the, the candidate dies and becomes reborn. Yeah. When he starts rapping, we see an image of Baphomet flashing on the screen. Then Lil Pump is seen surrounded by a mass people and what looks like an- But listen, what's the issue with somebody becoming reborn? People do it all the time. If you're a Christian, you get baptized and people say you're reborn in the name of Jesus. So what's the issue with him being reborn in a different way as well, but showing that he's growing? You know what I'm saying? If he's still the caterpillar evolving to the butterfly, what's the issue? We all do it. If you're a Christian, oh, baptized, I'm reborn. Okay, now this nigga's reborn too. It's just in a different way. So what's the issue? You feel me? Bro, that's the same thing. Like, I'm going to put you up on game. It's the same thing as them doing rituals. Look, look, in Christianity and in other religions, you have rituals. Every single month, what do Christians do? They eat a piece of bread and drink wine and they say, this is the blood of Christ. This is his flesh. I'll eat his flesh. I drink his blood. But listen to that. Diehard Christians are performing rituals, drinking the blood of Jesus, eating his flesh. Does that not sound satanic? Look at me going off on a tangent. My fault, bro. I'm going off on a tangent. Let's watch the video. I'm faded. My, my father.
Shut up, let's just watch it. In the music video for the hit track Illuminati by Lil Pump and Anul Double A, there are enough satanic references to make a priest whip out his holy water. The video starts with Anul Double A laying in a coffin, then immediately comes back to life and starts rapping. This represents initiation rituals in which the candidate dies and becomes reborn. When he starts rapping, we see an image of Baphomet flashing on the screen. Then Lil Pump is seen surrounded by a mass people in what looks like an initiation ritual. His verse begins like this, Illuminati might wake up tomorrow and buy a Bugatti, Illuminati, swerving in the ride while I'm on an oxy. Essentially, Lil Pump says the Illuminati <laughs> allows him to purchase a Bugatti and drive. Motherfucker, that just sound like some shit I do too. Swerving in the ride while I'm on an oxy. Uh, I got it. I got to get better. Essentially, Lil Pump says the Illuminati allows him to purchase a Bugatti and drive a Ferrari while incapacitated on opioids. That's the video also I features do. Lil Pump surrounded by a hellfire, as well as other notable signs of the occult, including the one eye sign and the head of horned beast. Young Thug. Young Thug is considered Thugger. to be an influence. Free my nigga, Thugger, cuz. Hey, I can't believe Gunna snitched. What? Pfft. That's crazy, and I'm a Gunna fan, bro. Oh my God, let's keep going. <laughs> Young Thug. Young Thug is considered to be an influential figure of his generation. For Known sure. for his eccentric vocal style and fashion, his music has impacted the modern sound of hip hop and trap music. His 2018 EP, Hear No Evil, featured a track called Up, and the music video for this track was met with controversy and scrutiny concerning the affiliation of the music industry with Satanism. Up by Young Thug featuring Lil Uzi Vert is one of the most blatantly satanic music videos in the history of rap, and you only need to see the first seven seconds to convince you. This video has no cohesive theme or narrative. It is essentially <laughs> Young Thug and Lil Uzi Vert bouncing around while intense occult and satanic symbolism flash on the screen. I mean, they showing y'all what they do. This is part of their brotherhood. What's the issue, bro? What's the issue? This video has no cohesive theme or narrative. It is essentially Young Thug and Lil Uzi Vert bouncing around while intense occult and satanic symbolism flash on the screen. The video description is basically, we own these two dudes, as the entire set looks like a satanic lodge. The video begins with a soulless girl crawling on a checkerboard floor surrounded by red drapes. To make things extra satanic, the scene is upside down. It also includes numerous shots of owls, which have been a long time symbol representing the occult elite. There is also a shot of a girl with seven eyes which can be alluding to several bible verses mentioning the seven eyes of the lord do i really come on now come on now come on now is this satanic come on now the seven chakras is that satanic Sa Baby. One of the lesser known rappers on the list, Sahim Malik Valerie, professionally known as Sa Baby. The Atlanta rapper gained widespread popularity in 2017 after the release of his song Pull Up With A Stick. He's also infamous oh, for Oh, this creative. Pull Up With A Stick? Pull Up With A Stick. Let me hear. Oh, that shit was fire! The Atlanta rapper gained widespread popularity in 2017 after the release of his song, Pull Up, Pull up With a stick. stick. He's also yeah, infamous for being hard. the creator of unknownism, a life philosophy that he described as accepting the fact that you don't know everything and you Fact. question everything. Unknownism Fact. has gradually gained a devout following, but many of his critics believe the philosophy is just another form of Satanism. For the 21-year-old rapper, 666 or an inverted cross has nothing to do with Satan, but black affirmation. He once said that 666 Six, that's six protons, six electrons, six neutrons. That equals carbon 12. Carbon helps make melanin. So that's the scientific <laughs> makeup of people of the same skin color as me. In short, he's trying to say that 666 is actually about black power. Maybe, maybe not. There is a reason why a popular slogan says symbols rule the world, not words nor laws. Words can be twisted to mean anything, but symbols do not lie. Juice World. Juice World was an American rapper known for his unique right, blend of emo and hip hop music. Known for his emotional and introspective lyrics, often addressing themes of love, heartbreak, and mental health, he rose yeah, to fame man. with his viral hit, Lucid Dreams, in 2018. His that death in 2019 has piece. always been shrouded in some form of mystery, and many of his fans have wondered if it had any occult ties. His hardcore fans have noted that he predicted the manner and timing of his death down to a T. On his hit song, Legends, the Chicago rapper mentioned that he would make it past 21. He said, what's the 27? club we ain't making it past 21 i've been going through paranoia so i always gotta keep a gun damn that's the world we live in now yeah hold on just hear me out on the song rentals juice world said had a big heart till the nigga sold it had a good soul uh till it sold it on the track blast off he said the following 
let's be honest you're the devil's daughter say hey to your father uh he owe me twenty dollars here he could be alluding to the possible deal he made with the devil and how the devil is yet to fulfill his end of the bargain on december 8 2019 at the age of 21 his death was ruled as caused by an accidental overdose of me, oxycodone and codeine. regardless of the motivations behind it the use of satanic themes in hip-hop has sparked debate and controversy some critics have accused these artists of promoting satanism and a harmful ideology while others have defended their right for artistic expression all right bro that was a great video thank you guys so much for re uh requesting that man so so me personally like i said they definitely have the satanic imagery but you know it's not what people really think it's not like it's not on some crazy shit bro <laughs> it's not what people think you know what i mean so if you really truly want to see what it's about you got to figure it out for yourself but a lot of people are scared to dive into that side of life because it is real spirits and all that stuff is real. So if you dive into that side of life, you open yourself up to a lot of shit for sure. A lot of energy, a lot of different energy, a lot of just a lot of shit. You feel me? Because energy, I mean, you, you guys know I'm spiritual. I'm spiritual. So yes, if, you do want to experience it. You're going to experience it. <laughs> you feel me? And the only way to learn is through experience. That's the only way you truly learn. So you have to experience it. It's crazy. But anyway, anyway, I'm going on a tangent, bro. Great video. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Is it an issue for artists, rappers, people in general to show satanic imagery? Is there an issue with that? Let me know what you think down in the comments. I would like to know. Because think about this. If other spiritual people can show a cross, can show the Bible, can show whatever type of spiritual item or spiritual symbolism, why isn't it an issue if the people who are quote unquote satanic why is it an issue if they show their symbolism? Why is that an issue? Think about that. Let me know down in the comments what you think. Shout out to the gang. Everybody have a good night. You already know. I'm not even on earth no more. Boy, I'm chilling. I'm going to see y'all next time. Y'all, peace.